now we're going to look at another one which is a context menu because occasionally you might have something like uh, this default value it defaults to uh, 0 0.5 so if I uh, remove this component uh, player script you'll see that it defaults to again I'm terrible at doing this because I'm using the Mac and I forget that we've got these niceties like you can zoom in on things so you can see here that we're that it defaults to 0 0.5 okay which is perfect so that's that's what we want to do so let's say you're um, you know changing things and doing stuff and, and checking the level and all that kind of thing and then you're like uh what's the default again now what you could do is you could add it in here and say the value should be between 0 and 1 and um, 0 0.5 is the default and then you can just go in here and then type in 0 0.5 that's you know again you're the programmer you want to try and make this as easy as possible for the designer so that they don't have to worry about these things this that's your job as the as a programmer on a game is to make life easier for everyone else okay so what do we want to do well we want to use the context uh, menu item and the context menu item has a name and it has a function now i really dislike the fact this is a string but it's this is what we're stuck with better or worse so the name is just the name that you want to give the outside world so i'm just going to call this to reset to default and then i'm going to create a, a new function which is reset health to default and then down here i'm going to create a private void reset health health to default now this has to be the same name as this one so I'm going to copy this just to make sure that these are both the exact same and then I'm going to change that I'm going to change the code in here to say health or I'm going to add the code in here I should say to 0.5f okay and while I'm at it I'm also going to change here it says the value should be between 0 and 1 uh, I'm going to change that to say the current health of the player uh, when it reaches zero the player is dead one represents full health okay so that's just a, a little handy tooltip thing uh, for the user now what happens is when I go back to here and I'll, uh, I'll let unity spin out here uh, I now have um, a context menu on the health. So when I, I'm mucking about here and I'm, I'm changing all these values and I'm trying to tweak it so that it's, it's the right value. Uh, internally though, I'm like, ah, I'm, I'm struggling with this. So I just want to reset it to the default value because that was probably the right thing anyway. So all I need to do is I right click on here and then it up pops reset default. I click on reset to default and it sets it back to the default value. And that's it, that is a uh, context menu item. Hi guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is part of the Video A Day in September 2017 videos. Uh, if you liked it or you didn't like it, hit the appropriate button below, uh, subscribe. So if you hit the, the little icon over there, then you'll get notified, uh, especially when you hit the little alarm icon. That's the really important part, apparently. Uh, then you'll get notified when a new video goes up. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.